Hi, this is Mahabeli, and Sarah is, is going to show Autumn and I a very quick activity right now. Very quick activity. So, Autumn, I've got an object for you, and you can't see it yet. I'm going to share it with you. And I'm going to ask you to describe the object as if it's a, a, a thing of wonder and imagine a purpose for it or a use for it. Um, as it doesn't matter, it, it, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just having a look at it and thinking, what could this be for? And telling us what sort of object of wonder it might be. So are you, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my object close to the camera. I don't know if you can see, can you see it's a little, a little pot? Oh, yes. And inside the pot, you've got some little stick on eyes. Oh, wow. Well, I, that's just so lovely. Look at that. I, I believe that this is a magical item. I believe <laughs> that this is, um, uh, this is a magical item that you use um, to make, uh, uh, you know, magical spells of um, sight. I believe that you use this when you are, um, you know, going to cast a spell that uh, will give you visions of beautiful things. Wow! <laughs> so how does this one go around? Does the next person come up with an item and call someone else to, to make magic of it, or do we stick to the same item? I think we, we I think we go around. We choose a different object. Otherwise, people who are at the okay. end will have really will really struggle. Okay, so I'll give Autumn time to find her object. I have my object, oh. and you're and Sarah's going to be the one to guess uh, to to like make up things about my object. Has to be a mundane object, right? Autumn has left, but it's okay. We can keep the object. Up. I'm going to make a wall. Little sticky. Okay, that is the notepad of hopes and dreams, and the way it wow. works is you write on the notepad your hope and your dream. The trick of it is that you can't keep that note and dream. If it's going to be realized, it has to be left somewhere for somebody randomly to find, and only then will it come true. That's my, that's, that's, that's my interpretation. <laughs> I'm just ripping off amber, I think. <laughs> okay, so Autumn, you're gonna show me an item and I have to do the magic yeah. that you guys have been doing i had one i'm sorry i left but i had one it was across the room and it's this tiny little vase so sarah can i make up any story about it or any story at all okay so this is a chinese genie stuck in this bottle oh and so rather than rub it when you put water in it the genie comes up I love it. It grants you six wishes because it's Chinese. Oh, I, I accidentally made it. <laughs> wow. Is it a Chinese vase? It looks Chinese, like those colors are kind of, or is it Japanese? I got it, I got it in a secondhand store for a dollar. So oh, it might be from like Walmart, it. yeah. Well, most things in Walmart are made in China, right? Yeah, well. <laughs> No, mine, mine was from a set. I got this from a secondhand store. So somebody else owned it. Yeah. And then, uh, so I have no idea. There's nothing <laughs> on the bottom. I looked to see, but uh, yeah. It's really it's cute. Pretty. Like it. It's very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I love this activity. I think it just promotes creativity. And it's that just was... a nice way to start the class. Just like opening everyone's mind. Thank you so much. It's so lovely to see you. Autumn, it's lovely to see you as well. I'm going to have to go now. I'm really sorry, but thank you so much. It's been brilliant Bye. to see you this morning. Bye. Bye.